Good morning, everyone. This is Charles Folkart on February the 4th, 2017. Welcome, everyone. I'm here at a search I did. Jesus Christ drove the money changers out of the temple. This is the only example in scripture where we we see the anger of the most restrained man in history. He made himself a cord of rope or leather or some kind of a material, and he himself drove the money changers out of the temple. Now that should tell you something if you believe in the Word of God at all. But try to find anybody in, in Judeo-Christian world who talks about Jesus Christ driving the money changers out of the temple and his hatred for those people, and you'll be hard-pressed. Oh, they, they will talk about it, but they won't apply it to today. The equivalent today is the IRF, the Eternal Revenue Service. Service. <laughs> you know, don't you love how they make, they want to make you think that they're, they're doing you a service? They're taking our hard-earned money and they're doing us a service. The Internal Revenue Service was created the same day as the Federal Reserve System. Now, this video is not about connecting those two together, but they are absolutely connected together. And I want to bring up some things in this video that I don't think you're going to see anywhere else. And if you do, that's great, and I hope there is. But let's go have a look at, let's connect these events, these, um, uh, these facts together, shall we? I'm here in a video I put up, what, three weeks ago, two weeks ago, something like that. It got 60 views, got six thumbs up. And uh, what I say here is, you young men, tired of just talking? Talk, 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 and no action. Nobody in government listening to you. Politicians not caring about your concerns. Government taking your hard-earned money. You're going about making change in all the wrong ways. Here's what needs to be done. And I discuss it in this video. And I had one person comment, and bless your heart. You know, you just I want to thank you for that. One person out of the 60 people who viewed this video took the time to make a comment. And the point I want to make here in this video is, you know, the white race, we like to complain, we like to bitch, we like to moan, we like to do everything but what needs to be done to make things happen. It is an undisputed fact that the federal income tax is illegal. And yet the government is taking untold amounts of money out of everybody, every working man and woman's check in the United States. And, and most people don't care. 
the white race is paying for all of the other non-whites who are on some kind of a government handout and welfare and they will bitch and moan and whine and complain but they'll say you know what am I going to do about it? And the government keeps taking the money, keeps taking your money, and keeps taking your money, and nothing happens. Well, we used to have the excuse that we couldn't organize, we couldn't work together in such a way to do anything about it. But that, because we had no way of communicating with each other, we had no way of organizing, really, it was too difficult to organize. And so nothing ever got done. And I hear some of these young people complaining that our generation left the world in the mess that it's in. And uh, it's it, like it's our fault. Well, I got news for you. There was really, there wasn't a whole lot we could do except elect, quote, politicians and leaders to go into Congress and to the into the state houses and actually implement change. And as you know, that didn't happen. Once they get in, they're bought off and, and they commit crime and, and they get blackmailed and everything else that happens. So that's where we are today. What's that quote uh, about those? We, we, cannot, we cannot fight treason from within. It's that's what's happened in our country. There's been treason. We we and those people should have been hung, but that didn't happen either. So here we are today, and you young people, you don't have any excuses. You don't have one excuse, not one. You have Twitter, you have Facebook, you have all these other social media, you have your phones, you have YouTube. You have Instagram, you have, and your enemies are organizing using these tools, and they're doing things funded by George Soros, and everybody is aware of it. Everybody knows what's going on, and nobody's doing anything about George Soros. So, and and the, and these people, our enemy. And those of you with eyes to see and ears to hear will know who the, the, our enemy is. They can create my, uh, fiat currency out of thin air and deposit it in George Soros accounts, and nobody is the wiser. They all think George Soros just makes billions and billions of dollars because he's so he's so smart and he's so clever. He manipulates the the exchange markets and he makes money on currency and maybe he does that because he does have inside information but you you young people you could organize and you could fund your own methods to fight back by just stopping the federal government from taking your money out of your check. But you're too cowardly to do what needs to be done. You'd rather bitch and moan and complain and whine, and you make a little bit of progress, now you're able to speak your mind. Oh, you, you can speak your mind now. You can say racist and you can say, homophobe you can say homosexual you can do you can say this and you can say that you can say not you can be a nazi you can there's a whole lot of things now that you can do so you think you're making progress but the government is still taking your money illegally you get that they're they they're winning they're winning cuz they're taking your money. This is a game that's being played and you're losing. And let's talk about these so-called leaders in the white nationalist movement. I'm not going to mention any names, but you name one leader in the white nationalist movement who says, 
we need to stop allowing the federal government from taking our hard-earned money illegally through the Internal Revenue Service and I am going to lead that so all of my quote followers let's go in this direction this is what we need to do you can't name one leader who is advocating that not one I went looking and I looked up some of these leaders and I found one leader who brags about his PhD that he hangs up on the wall and he brags about the number of views he's got and he brags about all the books that he's got and they're all translated into so many languages and, and uh, his YouTube videos have got uh, three zillion views and but I found out that he pleaded guilty in uh, 2002 to filing a false federal income tax return and instead of going to battle because he thought he was going to lose and end up in jail he decided to plead guilty and he didn't have to go to jail and I'm not sure what all happened with that and I can't blame him I don't blame him for what he did but this man is not going to lead you in the most important things he's he's not going to lead you where you need to go you're kind of going you know you need to go this way but he's going to go that way and he's going to go that way and he wants you to lead and he's not going to say anything that's going to lose him quote followers and viewers so in my opinion in my book that's not a leader okay and I might be wrong and I know one million of you are going to disagree with me only one person out of a million is going to agree with me and and I get that because I'm going to say what I want to say and I'm going to say what I think because I don't care if you follow me if you're on a subscriber on here on, on my channel and you don't agree with me and you don't like what I'm saying unsubscribe I don't care because I'm not dependent on anybody else for my living I depend on on the Lord God Yahweh to supply my need and I may end up with nothing and I've already been through this before my government through the federal bankruptcy judge and I wasn't bankrupt I only filed bankruptcy to protect what assets I had left and this federal bankruptcy judge he he took he stole my assets and the and my the assets that belonged to my family he illegally took what was mine and allowed his in echoes his trustees to sell what i worked hard for for over 20 year period of time and this is biggest scam in the san francisco bankruptcy court and I'm going to put his name on the screen because I don't give a rat's ass. Here we go. Here's the man that took my assets away from me back in 1999. Everything I worked hard for, for my family and myself, this man took away just like that. The arrogant, pompous ass. And his name is Alan Jaroslavsky. And it goes, you get the echoes around that, his name. And for people who have eyes to see and ears to hear, they know what that means. This man said in open court, I have never, in the 12 years I've been on the bench, given a white man, a non-Jewish man, back his business 
over the objection of his ex-wife. This man has been on the bench for 30 years now, and he's taken away the wealth of more white men than we can even imagine. And he has these Jewish trustees that work for him, and he's been doing this for 30 years. You know how much money this man makes every month? He makes over $18,000 a month doing what he does to other white men. And you know what? Most of you white men, you don't get, you don't care. You don't care. You don't care what he's doing to other men. You, you care more about the 22 black men that are going to play in the Super Bowl than you do about what this man and other men like him are doing to our race and our, and our white men. And that's how these people win. They take your money and you give it to them. You're not complaining one bit about these people taking your money. And they create currency out of thin air. And when their ilk make a mistake that costs you your job and, and your finances and your 401k plans and your, and your bank accounts and your stock accounts, they just create currency out of thin air and put it back in their accounts and nothing happens to them and nothing happens to them and you let it go and you let it go and you let it go and you let it go. Here's a video I did just the other day, February 1st and 88 views. How in the world can somebody not like this? This is the absolute truth. All right. Trump is a wolf in sheep's clothing, and I'm going to show you another mime I made up this morning. This is all Trump is. Oh, before I before I go here, let me let me let me show you something else first. Now that I'm here, I think I already showed you, but it's it bears repeating. This is right up at the point where the election occurred. The pressure was building. The pressure was building. And then after Trump was elected. Pressure dropped. Okay? Number of subscribers went way up. Number of views went way up. Number of watch time and minutes, which is probably the most important thing, went way up. And after the election, the pressure was off. The pressure was relieved. And people went back to their everyday life. Now, let's go to this mime again, please. Here we are. This is my, this is my take on what Trump is. If you know anything about a hot water tank and almost every buddy watching this has a hot water tank in their home or their apartment, go take a look at your hot water tank. You're going to find a pressure relief valve, which is right on, usually on top of the tank, and it'll have a, a pipe running out of it so the water goes into the floor or outside now, the, the new code, you have to bring it outside because the hot, the water is very, very hot. When this tank gets too hot, instead of exploding what it does is it has this pressure relief valve on it, so the pressure will go out of the tank and and through the pipe and onto the floor or out of the house. And I, this tank represents the United States of America. And the pressure was building and building and building and building. And the powers that be up here they knew they had to do something because it was getting out of control and the whole thing was going to blow up. White people were pissed off. All right? White people were pissed off. So, in order to release some of the pressure uh, that was building because of illegal immigration, jobs, NAFTA, jobs, Muslims, jobs, and gun control, and you name it, fake news, there's other things that probably belong in here. All the frustration was building and building and building. Trump gets in. Oh, everybody says, oh, great. Trump's going to take care of it. Trump's going to do it. But guess what? The Clintons are still in. He's, Trump is not doing anything about it. They're good people now. They're good people now. They're good friends of Clinton. Uh, Trump and Clintons are good friends, folks. The 
TSA is still gonna fill up your crotch and and you're gonna touch your your wife and your daughter's breast when when you go get on an airplane. That's still happening. IRS is still there. The Federal Reserve is still there, and Trump hasn't said a word about it. Uh, the left and right paradigm still there. The the amount of money that we're we're uh, in debt still there. Chemtrails. Trump hasn't said a word about chemtrails. They're still there. Pedophilia, still there. Israel, still there. Never a straight answer. NASA, the most fake, fraudulent agency, probably beside the IRS, in the American government, still taking $20 billion of your money every year, still there. It just, the swamp. He didn't drain the swamp. He filled the swamp. Come on, folks. Nothing's going to change. Yeah, some things will change, and they had to. They had to change. But the important things are not going to change, and nothing's going to change until you change. You're the one that has to change. You're the one that has to get angry. You're the one that has to do something. You're the one that has to get off your butt sitting on your couch with your remote control, flipping through the channels, and you can't wait until, what's the Super Bowl tomorrow, I think? I don't even know. I don't even know who's playing. But you people care more about stuff that doesn't matter than you do about the important things. So you're going to get what you deserve, and it's coming. What happened to me and my family is going to happen to you. And I don't wish that on anybody, but you're going to get exactly what you deserve. I warned you. I'm telling you what should be done, but nobody's listening. So you have a great time tomorrow watching the Super Bowl game. You watch 22 other men on the field living their dream and laughing at your ass because you're paying them all this money and the game is probably rigged. How did NASA get the two jerseys of the two winning teams up into the ISS when the last shipment up there, and it doesn't even exist, but the last shipment was December the 7th, 8th, 9th, somewhere in there, folks. The game is rigged. The, the table is tilted. And you're the losers. And you don't mind at all. You love it. You love your slavery. You love having them take your money. And you're not willing to do anything about it. But you keep following those leaders. They're, they're looking out for your best interest. Yep, yeah, they sure are. Embrace the love of the truth for the few of you out there. And may the grace of God our Father, the creator of the heaven and the earth, be with us all because we most certainly need it. See ya.